Okay, I've set our Satisfied Mind web page back the way it was, but not exactly in the same way. I used some different types of color settings because I wanted to share that with you. So let's go to Text Wrangler. Now, I'm back at the style sheet. I'm at the body selector. And I want to point out that I set my background color to beige again. But this time I set my color to saddle brown here in the body. So this will set the default color for all text within the web page to that nice dark saddle brown. Then I wanted to use a dark orange for my headings. So in this example of color, I've used the color name. But for my H1 heading, I'm using the hexadecimal number. So I start with a pound sign and then list out the FF parts of red, the 8C parts of green, and the zero parts of blue. Now, for my H2 color, I'm using exactly the same color, the dark orange, but I converted the numbers from hexadecimal base 16 to decimal or base 10, the numbers that you and I work with. When I do that, I have to tell the system that my color is RGB. And then within parentheses, list out the three colors and separate them by commas. When we separate data by columns, we call it comma delimited. So I have 255 parts of red, 140 parts of green, and zero parts of blue. Now there is a variation on the RGB, and that is the RGBA. The RGBA allows me to set levels of transparency where a 0.0, .0 would be fully transparent and a 1.0 would be fully opaque or solid, if you will. So I would enter that in like this. So I'm going to try setting my transparency at 0.5 for 50%. Let's save that out. And let's just see if we see any difference. Now remember that transparency pertained to our heading 2. So we want to look where it says Joan Baez and many others. And watch for a difference as I refresh the web page now. Ah, do you see it got fainter? Very good. It's not enough contrast, so I wouldn't leave it that way. But we can see how we can control transparency with RGBA. Give it a try. Remember to practice.